when did you leave TNA? So then I left uh, after that three-year mark. So that was 2000. So we started, I think, in 2006 with Spike. If that's correct, then I left in 2009. If not, then it was 2007 to 10. I'm always gray in those areas. But I did the full three years. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely, uh, after Kong and I had proven ourselves, um, my contract was up. And unfortunately, I was still in my prime of my career. And so... I just wasn't offered anything really that I could live on to be honest at that time. Um, I owed more money than I was being offered to be truthful. And I told everyone that at that time, it's nothing that hasn't been said before. So you, you wanted more money out of TNA yeah. and, and they sandbagged you. <laughs> at that time. Yes, yes. Yeah. And so did, so did Con. Yeah. She asked yeah. the same thing. And I don't blame you girls at all. I, uh, we only because have some if, if you if you had known what some people were making there, yeah. hell, y'all don't have long before then. Because yeah. Yeah. I didn't I didn't realize it. I figured, well, that's your deal. Yeah. Whatever. But I would think that if you asked for more money and Kong asked for more money, they would be a little bit uh, yeah. more courteous and uh, respectful of what you'd done. I thought but so too. I thought so I, too. I, I, I agree that. Yeah. I agree to that. So you went to WWE, and how was it there? It was the eh. same. <laughs> same thing, different day. Hey, listen, but you know, because I was so green on that first run, then I did my thing with Kong in the knockouts division. I, I really did feel optimistic. I felt like... I'm wiser. I'm more experienced. I've already been through the WWE system. I got this, you know, you, you go in there thinking and hoping for the best. And so started off and then kind of went back to what I started with it. Like, cause they kind of went back to all these gimmick matches that were like swimsuit, spectacular Baywatch match, you know, Z legs match. I mean, I was doing every gimmick match that was not a steel cage, a hardcore match, like, Total opposite gimmick matches. And so, you know, I I I was a little bit more patient the second time. And I thought, let's just hope for the best. And then by your, it's normally around the year two mark that you're kind of like, okay, things are obviously not going to change. And you're, you're very realistic too. Because I, by the second point, I am stronger and more um, uh, confident to go ask people, hey, what am I doing wrong here? What can I do? Uh, I've pitched ideas. I've done everything you asked me to do. And then, you know, you kind of read between the lines and you really realize one of the writers had told me, I write stuff for you, but it gets cut and taken out. And to me, once I heard that, I go, okay, you answered the question without answering the question. Only one person can change creative. And that's, that's Vince. That's so I, if, if Vince doesn't like me, what am I doing here? Right. I've already been here twice, a total of five years. If he doesn't like me now, uh, you know what? I'm in my mid thirties. I got to get out of here. I got to go and I got to show everyone what I have to give for the fans. And so I quit and I left and I went back to TNA and did my stuff with Taryn on the second back run and um, just, you know, have stayed there ever since. And I've made a career out of it. So how long were you in WWE when you left? Three years. I did three years the second time. You did three years the first time. No, two <clears throat> years the first time got fired. Three years. <laughs> the second time. Three years the second time quit. Yeah. When you went back to TNA, Eric Bischoff, Hulk Hogan, how did the power structure change? How did the company change as compared to your first run in TNA? They were already there. They had just come in maybe maybe a month before, maybe two months before. I don't, it was it's kind of back to back the way it happened. So for me, it was just normal. I just walked in and it was like, to be honest, in TNA, we kind of went through a couple of management regimes. And so nothing ever felt abnormal to me. I was just walking into <laughs> another situation, just hoping that I could just come back to wrestle again. Um, and I did. Um you know, and I, I actually thought that second time when I, because once I left for WWE and then I came back, I, I really, even though I left on good terms, um, 
I, I thought I was going to get punished <laughs> for leaving, right? I remember thinking, okay, what am I going to have to, I'm going to have to eat shit here for a while. And Vince Russo just wrote me back in and uh, very nicely. And I won the title pretty much very quickly. I was like, okay. I actually felt kind of awkward for winning the title when I came back. It was the tag title. Um, so I felt like, oh, I don't want to come back. And, you know, it's just all these weird feelings of when you come back or when you leave. And even when I won the title on my debut in WWE, I was so green. I didn't even, and I'm happy I didn't know. After the fact, people said to me, oh, weren't you afraid of all the heat you were going to get in the locker room for winning the title on your first day? And I go, oh, I didn't even know. I, would I have gotten heat for that? <laughs> like, I had no clue. <laughs> and I'm kind of glad I was so green that I didn't even know because then I would have been paranoid and didn't know. 